Hi everybody, Dan Schroeder here from Easy Care. I am Easy Care's hoof care practitioner and veterinarian sales representative. I am also a certified farrier and a certified lameness specialist with the Equine Lameness Prevention Organization out of Colorado. And we're here today, we're going to talk to you about the newest advancements in Easy Care's line of urethane shoes, the Easy Care Versa Grip line. We've got four new shoes here, got different added pieces to them that are gonna make them better than anything we've ever had before. And I think you're gonna be really excited about them. So let's take a look and see what we've got. This is the Easy Shoe Versa Grip. It's got a thicker urethane for longer wear. And we've got, we've added in kind of more of an aggressive tread pattern with deeper grooves to give you a little better traction once you get these on your horse. We've got 12 nailing options, six nails on each side to give you plenty of options on where to put your nails. We've got integrated pre-angled clips that's gonna just speed up your reset process a little bit. And we've got a debris guard for those times you're not going to be using a pour-in pad or any kind of impression material to just help keep junk from coming in on, up underneath your shoe. These are, like I said, they're a thicker pattern. These shoes are wearing fantastic. Uh, you know, getting multiple resets out of them, I think you're gonna be really happy with these. Now, this whole line comes in a front and a hind pattern. And that hind pattern's pretty, ha pretty handy when you're going into uh, working on um, maybe some club feet and obviously for hind feet. One of the really cool additions we've added to this is once you put your nails in, we've added a groove in here to where you can get your crease nail pullers in there really easy and get that nail pulled out. I mean, this is just something that, you know, it's a little something, but it just makes it that much easier when you go to work on a horse and you can just grab those nails, get them pulled out and get on the move. Now we're gonna move on to the, the Versa grip with studs. We've taken the same shoe as we just described, all of the same features, tread pattern, clips, debris guard, thicker shoe, but we've integrated a stud base into the shoe. So you can take any 3 8 stud and just screw them right in and you're set. You can use these for grass, for snow and ice, uh, anything where you might need a little more traction. One of the other cool things we've done is in the steel plate up front here, we've added three holes. And those three holes can be used with our Easy Care Quick Studs to where you, now you can, you know, you can put some traction back here, but you can also put the Quick Studs up in the front and get a little more traction there in the toe if you so desire. Again, front and hind pattern, gonna be a really nice, nice addition. Now we've got our Versa Grip Gold. The urethane is the same as the last two thicker, a little more uh, aggressive tread pattern, but we have removed the steel in the toe portion of the shoe. We've left the integrated plates on either side, so you still have your, still have your clips, but this is going to add a whole lot more strength and durability for where you're putting your nails, because you still have the strength of the, uh, of the metal but with it being gone in the toe, you're gonna to have greater flexibility with this shoe. It's a little bit lighter than the other ones. And so, you know, I think this is just gonna be, you know, another option for everybody to have in their tool bag to when you go out to work on a, on a horse. Our Versa Grip Light. No steel in this shoe. Obviously with no steel, that means no clips. But still, thicker profile, aggressive tread pattern, We've got 12 nail options, but this thing is super light. I mean, it's almost like wearing nothing. And you still have your debris guard. This is going to add you the greatest flexibility. All of these shoes are notched for an E-head nail. 
we recommend depending on the size of the shoe the size of the horse you know anywhere from like a e3 up to an e5 for the nailings uh to put these in i think you're going to be really excited about those uh, I hope you are. I am. I mean, I've been using these shoes since Easy Care came out with their urethane line of shoes. I've been using them, adding them to horses, and uh, you know, I've got a lot of people that ask me for them. They've they've heard about them. They ask me for them. The horses are loving them. They're adding shock absorption. They are reducing weight off of steel shoes, and they're giving some support back in that heel area which a lot of horses seem to enjoy, but they're still letting that foot work naturally and flex independently. We've already trimmed him, so he's all ready to go. So we're gonna try the 118 Versa. And it's just too small. We've got some hoofs sticking out over the side here, and it's just a hair short coming back on his heels. Not where I would like it. So let's go up to a 122. And that one, we've got a, you probably can't see it, just enough shoe fitting over the side of the hoof. Uh, my length, I like the length on here to support his heels. That looks like a really good fit. Let's go up one more size just to show you the 126. And that one, see, that one's hanging over the edge a little too far. Where the 118 was too short or too narrow, this one is just a hair too wide. But this 122 is going to fit right out of the box. Okay, everybody, we decided the 122. Now I'm going to show you how I mark it and how we get it fit up to the foot. I get it where I want it on the bottom, and then I just tr trace with a magic marker where what I want to take off. And you can see, right out of the box, fitting almost perfect. Really, all I'm going to do is kind of take off this little corner right here, and that's it. Uh, we've marked our shoe. And we've just got to take these corners off. So I like to use just a grinder like this. Uh, you can use an angle grinder, you know, one like this. I mean, there's a lot of different ways. For what we're doing right here, you could probably even put this on and just use your rasp. So, but I'm going to show you because there's a couple other modifications I, I want to make on this shoe. So we're going to go ahead and take this off and show you that. <laughs> And again, I've got my marks. Okay, and really that's it. I took those corners off and I always like to take just a little bit of that edge off just to make a little nicer landing for them. And then I brought the break over back just a hair. Uh, his toe is a hair long for me, so that's why I brought this back. Uh, that's gonna help him a lot, and he should be a little more comfortable with that. So let's go put it on. We got the shoe all uh, fixed up and where we want it to fit his foot, and we're gonna nail it on. And this really is no different than nailing any other shoe on. We're using an E4. We've got our shoe lined up. I can see my white line through there. There we go. We're nailed up. Now. I do have a little bit of the foot sticking out here. So I'm just gonna move that back a little bit. And I'll finish it up a little bit more from the top. We've got this shoe nailed up. 
We turned our clips in a little bit, so we've got a nice fit on there. Now we're just gonna go through here, trim our nails off. Again, I'm gonna kinda finish up this toe so we got a nice fit on the, on the shoe. And it's really like just putting on any other shoe. And there's those two nails. Now, I am going to uh, hit this clip just a little bit. You don't have to, it's just a personal preference of mine. We'll get this other side too. And there we have it. And that's really it. You know, I mean, these shoes, a lot of people that I have talked to are a little bit afraid of putting on these shoes. They're like, well, how do you fit them? How do you nail them? It's just like any other shoe. I hope this video shows you that, if anything, these shoes are easier to put on than steel shoes, aluminum shoes, and the horses absolutely love them. How about it, Vern? Are you happy with them? All right, if you have any questions, please give me a call anytime or any of our product specialists. They're all perfectly qualified to help you answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for your time.